Now, let's fly it. <laughs> Look at that. So no compass calibration, just walked around and look at that, what a solid hold. It's now in this video, I'm gonna cover a lot of information. Do remember people, I have Huey UH1 discount codes as well. This is a very important stuff, um, step, and I want you to do it before you fly. You can see the responses are just amazing even on now one more very important thing i want to i want you to pay attention to look at that it's doing figure eight at this altitude all by itself how cool is that man without compass calibration this gps is working absolutely superb man brilliant i'm very happy that now people do not have to do that compass calibration dance anymore. By the way, I still have to do a video on those secret features of H1 Lite. With this new GPS, with this new shell, the things are just getting better, man. Good improvement, Flyving. Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. Assalamualaikum. Greetings, Ali Shanma here. Welcome outdoors and welcome to more RC helicopter flight videos. Today in this video, of course, I'm going to fly and test the all-new Flyving Huey UH-1 V3 RC helicopter. Now, in this video, I'm going to cover a lot of information, so it might be a longer video. Stay with me on this video, so you can benefit from all that information, tips, and tricks that I'm going to share in this video for. Kiwi UH-1 V3 RC helicopter. Now, before we proceed, please subscribe to my channel, hit that little bell icon and turn on all the notifications so you can stay updated for all the new upcoming updates. Now, let's get to work. Let me give you a closer look at this V3, talk about the key changes and the information uh, and tips and tricks that I'm going to share, and then we'll fly it. Here, let's talk about the upgrades and updates they have done on this. I mean, the Flywing has done on this beautiful helicopter, first thing, they have listened to people and they have removed those magnets. So now you have this latch here, push it down and you can remove the shell. Also notice that now they have put all the transparent windows, which is another good thing. Now helicopter takes a 5,000 milliamp battery without any problem right here and you can have flight times up to 25 plus minutes if you set the main rotor head speed to 65%. Remember once again in the assist program, if you set the main rotor head speed or throttle to 65%, you can fly nice and slow in a scale around you and as you like to fly and you can get 25 plus minutes of flight time. So I will be actually testing the flight endurance next on this helicopter as well. Now here's the new GPS, which Flyving claims that now we do not need any compass calibration. I have not done any compass calibration. I just brought it out because the new GPS is a GPS, Galileo, Beidou, GLONASS and everything in it and you don't have to do compass calibration. ESC, there's no change on that, okay. Uh, fuselage has a bit of upgrades on the back as well that now you don't have to stick these horizontal stabilizers, they're already stuck. And the tail now has less noise because now they are using the same motor as a Flywing FW450 V3 helicopter and the same propeller on the back right here. And I think finally, finally, no more aluminum, uh, cheap aluminum landing skids. So I believe these have been the upgrades on this helicopter. Let's uh, fire it up and see how it flies. So I have disabled the low voltage return to home. And so, oh, that is loud. I'm gonna add the low voltage beeper. And now this is a very important point. And that is once you have all the satellites locked, you will have a solid green LED. Now what you need to do is, you don't have to do compass calibration. You just have to hold the helicopter, watch the green LED and walk around your field. Okay, walk around your field because you want to see if the GPS is going to have any kind of glitch or any kind of, uh, you know, satellite loss or something. So just walk around. This is a good exercise for you as well. Flywing cares about your health. And that's why they put this feature in <laughs> to let you walk. Old farts like us have to walk. 
So walk around your field, this is very important, and see if the light blinks or not. If there's any glitch or not, if it goes yellow, red. If it stays solid green, this means you have no issues, okay? And you can start flying. All right, so this is a very important stuff, um, step, and I want you to do it before you fly. Now that I have made sure, and you would all do the same, to make sure the GPS has no problem by holding your beloved helicopter and walking around your field, getting some exercise in your body, to your body. And it's also green LED, let's fly. Solid green LED, let's fly and see how it goes. Bismillahirrahmanirrahim, here we go. By the way, I just switched to 65% throttle because it's very lightweight. Honestly, it's very, very lightweight and 75% is like, an, you know, unnecessary. 65%, it's really nice. Look at that. So no compass calibration, just walked around and look at that. What a solid hold. It's like it's stuck at one position. Now the wings are coming. So let's yaw. It's still a very nice and solid hold. Let's fly it around. By the way, my settings are like a sports mode, so it's gonna shoot really fast. Man, what a beauty. So as soon as I leave, wind's coming from there. It actually holds very well. Look at that. Put him down, down. That's a nice hold there, people. That's a nice hold. Without any compass calibration. Now this is your puppy right here. So I'm gonna get some pictures. Hold on. Just let me see a little bit on the altitude hold. That's nice and solid, man. Nice and solid. Time for some pictures. Okay, I got my pictures. The superb altitude hold really helps. And I love flying this helicopter, man. With the transparent windows, now it's looking even better. And what I need to do is 3D print some accessories like guns on the door, maybe cut the doors open, make them sliding doors using 3D printed parts. Uh, you know, 3D print some toy soldiers, pilots, dashboard, I mean, instrument panel inside. That will be nice, man, for this helicopter. I would say that would be amazing nice. This helicopter has one of the most beautiful stances, man. Look at that. I love flying Huey UH-1, man. It just looks absolutely beautiful in the skies. Very eye-catching, attract, attention-grabbing, attracts people, and flies really nice. Given that my settings I've done on, you know, look at that, on that uh, sports mode and then I tweaked more, you can see the responses are just amazing. Even on GPS, it feels like it's in attitude mode, attitude mode. By the way, I still have to do a video on those secret features of H1 Lite where you can switch the helicopter to ATT mode rather than GPS mode or 6G mode rather than GPS mode. So your helicopter will not hold position, but it will have attitude mode 
and our 6G mode. But I would say it's pretty pointless to have those modes. Beginners would like to have helicopters on GPS mode so that as soon as they leave sticks, you know, helicopter is just waiting for them. So what's the point of attitude and 6G mode? This is like a 6G mode right now. It's very stable. But again, I believe when people, their skills improve, they don't want GPS, they can try 6G mode and attitude mode. I'm gonna give it a try and see how it behaves. What's the difference in those modes? Now, let's fly it! <laughs> Look at that. A tail response, mashallah. I love it, man. It was... Wow, let me do it again. <laughs> I, was a... I love the way it breaks itself, you know, breaks all the speed. So I'm coming from there. Full speed forward. Leave the sticks. Awesome. That blade sound was even awesome, man. Now, looky, looky, I want 5,000 million battery. I really didn't see how long I've been flying, but don't worry, I will be doing a flight endurance video later for Huey UH1 just to see how long it flies on 5,000 million battery uh, on 65% head speed. So I'll be giving it flight just like this, you know, just like this. Man, this helicopter, I would say, has just become better with this new GPS. With this new GPS, with this new shell, the things are just getting better, man. Good improvement, Flyving. Good improvement. I'm loving it. Thank you very much for these improvements. I'm sure other fellows who own Huey UH-1 or gonna buy a Huey UH-1 or were waiting for it, gonna be very happy. Do remember, people, I have Huey UH-1 discount codes as well. So don't forget to check the video description and get those discount codes used get a discount while you order this helicopter okay time to test RTH home I haven't calibrated the compass so let's see how the helicopter will perform on RTH. It's rising up, flying back. There it is. Switches to the same stance it took off. As it took off, the nose will point in the same direction. It's losing altitude pretty fast. I like it. I like the other one, which was losing altitude very slow. I don't know, what was that, Bell 206? I have no idea. It's losing altitude very nicely hear that sound of blades. I still have Airwolf to fly. So it's coming. And mashallah, the deviation is actually very little. There you go. Turn off. Disable the motor, I mean disarm the motor and all good. Now, let's take off again and let's test the auto flight modes like zero fly and eight fly and see if it will hold its uh, nose orientation right or not. So, spooling up again. <clears throat> Beautifully rises up and I bring it closer leave the sticks it holds okay <clears throat> at this altitude can i start eight fly <laughs> don't you love it it actually started figure eight right at this altitude no more five meters you know crap ah man i have one femi brand new one which cannot do anything until unless you put it on a five meter altitude look at that it's doing 
figure eight at this altitude all by itself how cool is that man love it man no more five meters crap <clears throat> though it's dangerous i know but people should be using these helicopters with caution and responsibility if you want to try this please make sure you have a good altitude clearing the heads of people i mean it should be at least higher than the average person's height higher than that so it's actually doing very well as you can see right here the heading no issues at all for the heading look at that how it turns its head no issues at all for the heading once, once again the new GPS is working flawlessly okay normal mode come here <clears throat> and fly circle once again look at that people no issues at all for the heading noses are still pointing towards me A number of people previously asked me how to fly helicopter like this how do you do that manually well now you don't have to do it manually just flip the switch to zero fly and it will do this beautiful flight all by itself so people once again no issues at all for the GPS without compass calibration this GPS is working absolutely superb man brilliant i'm very happy that now people do not have to do that compass calibration dance anymore so this gps is on sale as well please check out the link in video description and you can buy the gps for your existing helicopters add this gps just like i did just stick it on top of flight controller no need to do any compass calibration enjoy all these you know cool flights without compass calibration now so you can just buy a GPS and upgrade your helicopter if you do not have this GPS and or just get a brand new Huey UH-1 V3 if you do not have it all right it's a still flying man I'm surprised my battery meter didn't beep beeper is still not beeping now one more very important thing I want to I want you to pay attention to if you're looking at the radio when you're doing if you have this fly sky radio that comes with the helicopter okay with ready to fly combos if you have this radio you have this flight modes normal zero fly eight fly right here be very 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 i don't know how many times i have to say very be extremely careful when you are moving this switch up and down now down is fine but when you are moving it back to normal sometimes you will hit motor stop and your helicopter will fall like a third from the skies so be very very careful i found when you're using left hand finger to move this is move this switch up you will accidentally hit the motor stop so don't do that always hold the radio in your left hand and then do zero fly eight fly and or normal okay this way you will avoid uh, that switch motor stop switch and save your helicopter from crashing man it's tons of flight time now i mean that's a lot of flight time man i still didn't get any beeping i got to put in a new battery and give it a flight endurance test i have to do it man a fully charged 4s 5000 milliamp battery and see how long it will fly so let's end this flight right here and let's do the flight endurance test using a brand new battery after the flight ESC hot motor is also hot it's a hot day remember that tail motor is fine so inside I believe I have to do something about airflow I'm giving you this information nice and clear people it is a hot ESC and a hot motor right there 
so that's due to just a little bit see these windows are open so what i will do is i'll cut open these you know side windows as well i will keep them open i don't need these i will open them all so there will be more airflow for the motor in there i may 3d print some you know uh accessories and cosmetics cut the shell here and add some inlets you know uh air inlets here i believe if i remove these transparent covers from bottom it will also <clears throat> help a lot with the airflow inside we do need an airflow right there on the motor now for the battery after such a long flight man i'm really surprised let's look at it okay sorry let me go in here 3.7 3 3.7 3.7 3.7 3.7 3.7 3.7 3.7 3.7 3.7 3.7 3.7 3.7 3.7 3.7 3.7 3.7 3.7 3.7 3.7 3.7 3.7 3.7 3.7 3.7 3.